Do you know what I think of that, Jimmy? Hey. How do you pick these things up? Are there any tongs available? Any tongs? It's the middle of February 2024 and the daffodils are out. Isn't that lovely? And even some of the bees are coming out to uh, test the air. Although it's not particularly warm, it's, uh, it's a fine day, so they take an advantage. And as it's a fine day, I'm going to take advantage of that as well. Can you guess what I'm going to do? Well, why would I be walking towards these empty pallets? Yep. I'm going to build another Holzhausen. Another one. If you remember, I built one here last year and I uh, took that apart. That's all gone. Next to it is a larger one, which I haven't taken apart yet. That's because we don't have uh, a room, we haven't got room for all this wood in a covered woodshed at the moment. But we will soon, and then I'll be taking this one apart and I'll build yet another Holzhausen here. Yeah, so I've, I've filmed myself building Holzhausens before, um, possibly a few times now. And uh, some people like watching them. I don't think they're the most popular videos I've, I've ever done, but some people enjoy it and a few people have specifically asked me to make a video of the next one that I build. So I'm going to do that and uh, but I'm going to try and make it a little bit different. I'm going to try and make it a bit more interesting and uh, so what I'm going to do uh, whilst building it I'm going to invite some let's say personalities to uh, assist me with the construction and see how they get on doing it. So I hope you're going to enjoy that. We'll have a little bit of a laugh. And uh, at the end, I'm sure the finished Holzhausen will look... Well, I always think they look really nice. So, but uh, you tell me what you think when it's finished. Yeah. So I'm going to make a start now. Uh, lay in the base of the Holzhausen. Okay, so I've done the base. Let's go and take a look. It's basically a uh, circular shape. Not a perfect circle, I have to admit. Some people take great pains and they draw a circle uh, as a template. I don't bother, bother with any of that nonsense. I sort of lay them out as best I think. It's more or less a circle. It's a bit ovalized. That's because the shape of the pallets is a bit rectangular and so I try to take as much advantage of the space as I can and stretch it a bit. Basically uh, how I do them is, uh, so I lay these ones down first to form a ring of logs with a gap between them and then I put other logs in the gap and then I fill in as best I can. And then I'll be building my wall with the logs going that way in towards the centre. So the basic idea is that the, the prevailing wind, which uh, here goes that way, the wind's going to blow through that way. The wind can go through the whole structure and dry the wood as it as it goes through. So you. You don't really want to pack the middle too much. I've just thrown them there a bit willy-nilly for now. But the next part of the whole process is to build a wall and then infill as I go along with odd bits. Right, so I've just split another wheelbarrow load and, uh, and a half, one and a half wheelbarrows, and I'm now going to start building the wall.
and uh, I'm going to start by here. It doesn't really matter where I start, to be honest. So the idea is that the open ends are sticking out. It gets a bit difficult sometimes when you come to the curve bit. Uh, so you have to improvise a bit. Right, so that's about three quarters of one circuit from uh, pretty much one and a half wheelbarrow loads. Time to go and split some more now. So that's part of the wall done. I've got three quarters of the way around uh, with the last lot of wood. I've got another wheelbarrow load. So I should be able to finish this layer. But I tell you what, it's very hard work. And uh, I really could do with some help now. You know, I mean, uh, I'm getting on. I'm not a young man anymore. So I think I'll pop out into the lane there and uh, See if I can spot anybody wandering around out for a walk, perhaps. And, uh, you know, they might welcome the opportunity to do a little bit of stuff like this. Let's go see if I can find anyone. Hang on. I can see somebody in the distance. I'll go and stop this chap. I see. Well, yes, that's a very intriguing proposition, uh, my fellow, yes. Unfortunately, I am wearing a rather expensive Salvin Row suit. Uh, so, I, do, do you have any gloves of any kind that I might wear, or um, what is... How do you pick these things up? Are there any tongs available? Any tongs? Large tweezers, you know. Good quality, of course. Uh, yes, I'm, I might be able to assist you for a while. I've a lot of pressing engagements, you know. Speaking at the uh, at the House of Commons this afternoon. It's a frightful bore. Yes, yes. Of course, it occurs to me that uh, one of one of the big advantages of Brexit, which hasn't been mentioned yet, is that prior to uh, us leaving the uh, the dreadful EU. Um, pieces of wood like this had to be a regulation size and shape. I believe it was something like 32.75 centimeters uh, with an angle of not more than 42 degrees. So uh, of course now one of the advantages we can make up our own regulations. Yes, it must be a lot, a lot simpler for fellows like you I should think. Yes, I, I, Brexit is a wonderful, wonderful thing indeed, yes. I, I fully stand by it. And with that, he buggered off. Right, looks like he's back down to me again. Hang on, there's somebody else coming. Uh, who's it going to be this time, I wonder? You're having a laugh. Or you expect me to help you with this? You're out of your tiny mind. There's no way. How much will you pay me, though? Well, I can't. I'm not offering to pay you anything. I just think it's like an experience that you could, you could have. You know, a woodland experience. Do <sighs> you know what I think of that, Jimmy? Hey. Hey. That's an expensive camera, you know. I don't bloody care. Get out of my way! Oh. God! What a reaction! Well, looks like it's turned to me again. I hope this camera's okay. Um, yeah. Right, I'm gonna crack on now. Fill in that gap. So here we are with the uh, circuit complete. 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. I think there's about 40 to 50 logs to go all the way around each time. Uh, they're all shapes and sizes. In an ideal world, when they split, they would all come out exactly the same shape, which would make life so much easier. Um, but they don't. So, you have to make the best of what you've got, and sometimes I'll split them a little bit larger, leave them larger, and sometimes I'll make them a bit smaller to try and uh, plug any gaps. But you don't really want a perfectly compacted wall, you because know, it does need to, the air, the wind does need to blow through. So I need to go and split some more now before I can go any higher. And uh, yeah, that's my next job. And then the rains came. my lovely wet Holzhausen. I've just popped out in a brief dry spell. Oh dear, oh dear.